Welcome in Clover fans to Savannah Clover Soccer live here on YouTube and FIFA Plus. I'm Kyle Lawson, joined once again in the booth by Mike Blanton for tonight's big matchup between the league leading Chattanooga FC and your Savannah Clovers. So we talked a little bit about in the pregame and this should be a good one tonight if you want to beat be, be the best you have to beat the best and this should be a good test right now and i'm really excited to see what a healthy savannah clover side can do tonight mike right you are kyle once again glad to be back here feel like we've had some time away for uh, various things going on but man what a beautiful fall evening we have for a game tonight good weather finally this has been a rainy season to say the least i know the lads are ready to get going they're you know, as you mentioned, a strong squad, all the full 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 complement of players ready to go. Bench is excited. David Proctor, the manager for the Clovers, is excited. They're excited to come out here and give Chattanooga a run. Yeah, we really. I had a great interview as I always do the uh, afternoon before we come to the stadium with Coach Proctor. Solid last couple of games. The Clovers trying to take advantage of going out to the West Coast and taking a point against the LA Force. They've been good in training. It's been tough with some suspensions due to the red cards against Albion San Diego and a couple of injuries. Good news though, Cameron Schneider in defense is back, ready to go with that, that hamstring. Jack Crichton, as previously mentioned by our PA announcer, Jacob Noterman is back and ready to go. He will be in the net for tonight. Bottom line, the big message from the coach was, do the job. Can we convert on set pieces and stay tight in the back? Our back four has looked really good, and I can't wait to see what they can do. Yeah, one of the bright spots for the Clovers defense in this young, fledgling you know, career for the Clovers as a professional football team is Ford Hunt has been a stalwart there back in the center defense for the Clovers. Absolutely. He's been excellent. He's been strong. He's been a leader back there. And having Cam Schneider move over to center back to play alongside him is going to be very, very beneficial in facing this tough Chattanooga squad. That's right. You're looking at the squad that is the height of NISA right now, the top squad in all of NISA. 43 points, 12 wins, zero draws, excuse me, zero draws and one loss at 43 points. And the Clovers are currently at ninth. And the Clovers still need to find a way to take points from all these matches to find a way to get into sixth and have a shot at the NISA playoffs right now. And it looks like right now as the Clovers are coming out on the pitch, we'll go ahead and give you the starting 11 for the Clovers, followed by the starting 11 for Chattanooga FC. Robert Benji is the head referee for tonight's match, and here's the starting lineup for your Clovers. In goal, the aforementioned number 25, Jack Crichton. Number 11, defense, Adon Tate. Number 17, Ford Hunt. Number 19, Cameron Schneider. And number 23, Chandler Vaughn. In the midfield, Alex Arides. Number 6, Mason Moyers. And captain, number 14, in the center of that midfield, Zach Hargreaves. And number 15 is Andy Sanchez. Up front, number 8, Aaron Martinez. And number 45, Zach Rugova. Max Rugova, pardon me. Chattanooga FC is out on the pitch. Here is their starting lineup in goal. Number 15, Jean-Antoine. Defense, number 97, Anatoly Prepolita. Number 3, Joseph Perez. Number 4, Richard Dixon, captain. Number 2, Aiden Bowers. And number 23, Sebastian Capozucci. In midfield, number 19, Luis Garcia Sosa. Number 33, Alex McGrath. And we will pause now for our national anthem.
Great performance on our national anthem here on Hispanic Heritage Night here at beautiful Memorial Stadium as your Savannah Clovers get ready to take on Chattanooga FC. Beautiful night. Pretty good crowd still filing in. And uh, we do see a little bit of the blue of Chattanooga FC in out in the stands tonight. So we have a lot of away support, but there is also a sea of green out here at Memorial. And just to finish up, but prior to our national anthem, finishing up with the starting forwards for Chattanooga FC. Number 58, Jose Ibarra, Jesus Ibarra. Number 99, leads, leading scorer in Marcus Nagelstad. And number 17, Juan Luis. And that is the starting lineup for Chattanooga FC. Should be ready to kick off right now as the pregame ceremonies are taking place. Looks like we're going to have a coin toss here by Miss Savannah 2023. That's Brittany Evans. The coin is up. Oh, looks like we're going to go for round two. It looks like a win for the Clovers on the coin toss. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like we're going to take the kickoff right there. Should be good. Get going. Getting going here. Captains Richard Dixon of Chattanooga and Zach Hargreave shaking hands. To take, looks like both sides getting ready to take their pre match starting 11 photos here before we commence battle here at Memorial. You know, Kyle, I can never think of a coin toss scenario without going back to, I, I forget which Super Bowl it was, where the referee said, Toyn costs on national TV in front of millions. Really sounds like something I would have done. <laughs> I could easily see myself doing it as well. It's not hard to do. But Clover's out there rocking their third kit. Looking at the maroon, of course, Jack Crichton wearing the yellow. Looks like we're going to play with one man up top tonight. Max Rogova, number 45, midseason acquisition from Michigan Stars couple of goals in his ledger this year yeah Max Rogova was a great pickup for the Clovers in the middle of the year especially when we were dealing with some injuries you know tough spell of the season a lot of heat in the Savannah that time of year being able to bring, being able to bring Max in to give us some offensive firepower was a very big help to helping us really right the ship towards the second half of this season yeah he's a veteran player tough guy he plays the number nine role really well he can drop back in the central midfield if he needs to but ultimately he is there to score goals and his presence is going to be huge tonight for the Clovers as they try to find a way to get out of the bottom of the table and try to find their way to get to sixth place. Counting tonight, five matches remaining for your Savannah Clovers, three at home and two on the road as we get ready here at Memorial for the opening kickoff. Haven't seen the maroon kits many times this season, but they sure are sharp. Very sharp. Yeah, I love our kits this season. Obviously, we got the traditional green, white, and now we're going with the Ramoon. Let's see if that brings them luck. Chattanooga kicks off, and we are underway. Mike, big keys here in the opening 20 minutes. What do you want to see? Want to see the work rate. The Clovers can really establish themselves by being quick, but keeping their positions and keeping their shape. As you touched upon early. The co uh, coach David Proctor said, "Just need to do their jobs. You know, stay in stay, stay in their position. Don't make mistakes, and you can stick with this Chattanooga team." That's just it. This is a young squad right now. Quick move by Juan Luis, and that'll bring Proctor out of his net. Gathered up. Really, not much to come of that, but a quick break. That doesn't lead to much of a chance for Chattanooga. Got to close down those lanes, Mike. Yeah, you can already see what Chattanooga is going to want to do. They're going to push the ball out wide and then try and slot it through the middle to their excellent forwards. But Crichton doing a great job stepping off his line to clean that up. A little bit of a tackle to lead to the first foul of the match. Max Rogova sends Captain Richard Dixon to the ground. And that'll be a easy 
Yeah, it looks like they're going to look long here yeah, and playing it back. <laughs> but the big thing is here, even when you have a free that's so far back right here, both teams are trying to establish their shape, try to establish the pace they want to start the game with. Yeah, as we've seen many times through this year, you know, the midfielders for the Clovers have an excellent, excellent work rate, and they work very well together. If they can continue to do that in this game, that's also going to really help them establish their shape and establish their work rate. Trying to work up right side of the pitch for the Clovers with a sea of white. And they'll be out for a throw. Then it'll be quick to take. Fairly deep in Chattanooga territory. Going to drop all the way back and reset. Fort Hunt getting a couple early touches. Going to go out there to Don Tate. Tries to work it up. And a heap of pressure from Chattanooga. Chattanooga also coming in with a very strong defensive side of themselves. Clovers are going to have to work hard to try and break through those lines. They've got some physically impending size. Prepolita is a large man in stature. He's very, very strong on the ball, and he's quick to get to the ball with his size. Absolutely. Clovers trying to regain possession here. A little bit back and forth here. Picked up quickly. We're going to have a little bit of a chance here. Alex Arita is working in quick on that wing. Whipped it in, but nobody was home. Rolls all the way out, but takes a Clover's bounce, and it's back in for a quick throw. Great job with the early pressure by the Clovers. Able to force an errant back pass and capitalize on getting a cross into the box. There, yeah. That was definitely a good chance there for the Clovers. Oh, we're going to have a foul here. Don Tate goes to ground. Clovers were out there, first kick taken quickly by Aridius over to Mason Moyers, who's going to change direction here, all the way out to Chandler Vaughn. Captain Zach Hargreaves in the middle of the pitch. Seeing what his options are, he works out to his big number nine, Max Rogova. Max Rogova in traffic, and it's deflected away. Hargreaves back with it. Adon Tate sort of operating as a wing back. He's going to push up and see if he can get across in here. Can he find a leg on it? Arides from distance just over the net. Not a bad little chance there, Mike. Not at all. Another excellent sequence. Capitalizing in another errant pass. Hargreaves is able to pick it up, get it out wide to Tate. And as you mentioned, Tate getting up as a wing back makes an excellent cross. Deflected, picked up by Arides for a good shot on just over the post. Just five minutes in right here. Clover's nil, Chattanooga FC nil. And I got to say, Mike, if Chattanooga is not careful, Alex Arides is going to keep pressing up that left wing. Arides, one of the quicker guys on the Clovers, for sure, can certainly make anyone force a mistake. Arides is Oops, Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's flipped back to Jean Antoine, number 15, the keeper for Chattanooga FC. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, I was going to say, if you remember earlier in the season, Arides was, you know, an excellent sub coming off the bench, but he's worked really hard and has really cemented himself as a stalwart in the starting lineup. I mean, he can operate in so many roles in the midfield, but he's an attacking midfielder slash forward and was really just trying to get his fitness up for the season so he could be an out-and-out 90-minute -out player. Alex Arides continue to press. Oop, as we're talking about it, he forces a foul. <laughs> Two bodies coming together there. We take a knee here. Should be okay to go. Pretty sure that's Alex McGrath, number 33. Clover's definitely showing they're not afraid to do a little bit of the dirty work here because that's how Chattanooga nope, plays. They're definitely going to try and throw it back at them. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian Capozucci, pardon me. I thought I saw a 33. That was a 23. Just 10 off. Yeah, that's how math works, Mike. <laughs> Had a play for a throw.
pretty amazing to come out to Memorial Stadium and we don't have the crazy heat and humidity that you get in the Savannah summer. We're finally getting the, that beautiful time of fall. Yeah, this is certainly my favorite time of the year. Don't have to worry about perspiring quite as much here up in the booth. And, of course, the air conditioning's working right now. <laughs> that makes me really happy right now. That was, that was quite a broadcast. That, that was a hot one, let me tell you. Savannah Clover's trying to settle. Don Tate whips a 50-50 ball. Alex Reed is trying to get on it, but back to Zach Hargreaves. Mason Moyers in the middle. Chandler Vaughn having to back up a little bit on that right side. And it's intercepted by Chattanooga. Clovers need to make sure they get back. Don't get caught sleeping here. So we're into the box of Don Tate with a solid tackle. They'll need to do more than that. First chance of the game right into the waiting arms of Jack Crichton there. Tate showing some strong defense there, but unfortunately a tough bounce lands right back in number 17, Juan Luis's feet, and he's able to get a shot on goal, but Crichton easily scoops that up, keeps possession. Yeah, it really didn't come to much, but it was a solid buildup by Chattanooga. Luckily, it was covered up quickly by Jack Crichton. Spent last year in the Welsh second division with Colwyn Bay FC route to them getting promotion to the Welsh top division. Coming over here playing his trade with the Clovers. Chandler Vaughn flicks all the way back. And it's quickly played back to Vaughn by Crichton. Clovers need to be careful here. Clover showing excellent composure on the ball. Well, it looks like he might have a little bit of turnover here and there's gonna be a chance. And that is offsides. It was yeah, very I thought, close. yeah, that was very close. Clover's got to watch that. I thought he was offsides, but you never know who's going to see that. Getting caught in transition has been a big issue for the Clovers this season. And they've done a really great job the last three matches of limiting that. Been really strong at that back four. That's one of Chattanooga's strongest parts of their game is their ability to counter when there's a turnover. You can see just how quickly they can get that ball out wide and get forward once they do get possession. No doubt about it. It's played out of play. A couple of chances early for both sides. No clear-cut shots for either Chattanooga or Savannah. Ooh, another tough call there. Looks like it was whistled. Might have caught Aaron Martinez's arm there. Chattanooga's going to play it back. Had a play for a Clover's throw. Played out wide to Louis. Don Tate with a quick throw in back to Mason Moyers. Switch it all the way back to Ford Hunt. And it's deflected quickly. We gotta be careful. The dangerous Mar Marcus Nagelstad has his shot blocked. Good recovery by Hunt there after that deflected pass was picked up. See, Nagelstad really just wants to have a rip. He's got the cannon to do it. Good job by Ford Hunt getting back in position to make that block. Nagelstad, as we've mentioned before, the Golden Boot winner for Nisa last season with 20 goals and seven assists. He's got 11 on his ledger this season. Max Rogova finds a way to keep it in. Tasty little flick over there to Alex Arides. If he can get a little bit of help, two men on him. He's driving in. Is he going to have a chance? Is he going to have a chance? He has a go. It's deflected. Excellent buildup by Alex Arides, but it's not done yet. Mason Moyers working back. To Chandler Vaughn out wide. A couple of maroon shirts in the box, but it's headed away. Glovers will have to try again. Don Tate, a lot of speed, former Michigan star last year. 
Once again, you're seeing the versatility and danger that Arides possesses going forward. He's able to get in the box. He really made something happen there. Biggest threat for biggest threat for Chattanooga thus far. He's driven in three times to create chances there. I thought if he would have had a little bit of opening, he might have actually had a shot that really would have forced a big save from Antoine. Yeah, Chattanooga defense able to sprawl out and get a slide tackle in to block that shot. But hopefully we'll see more of that from Irides here. Rogoba. Alex Arides with another touch here. And he goes to ground here, and that'll be a foul in a fairly advantageous position for the Clovers. As we were talking about, about 30 yards out here, excellent chance for the Clovers to have a free kick to put into the box. And as we said, and you talked about it specifically during the pregame, and I, you know, of course I get a chance to talk to Coach Proctor, convert on set pieces. It's going well in training. Can you find a way to get these in the back of the net? Absolutely. Just go through your motions, get that ball into the box where it needs to be. The key here is a good ball into the box. Adon Tate fakes. Low ball in from Hargreaves. Deflected Whip. all the way out. Clover's got to be careful. Got a lot of maroon shirts up. Start to get a few bodies back. Bolster the defense, and it goes out of play for a throw. Wasn't a bad set piece to start. They were able to whip it in with some pace, got over the first man. But uh, Chattanooga was able to clean that up. I like the early pressure from the Clovers here. As it's played back in transition here. All the way back to Crichton. Cam Schneider able to get a quick tap back to his goalkeeper. You see Arides coming back and doing some defensive dirty work there. There's a lot of youth on the Clovers, but I mean, the pace has not been the issue. I mean, no, the athleticism, not. they do well in training. You can see that in spades and they can play, they can come back on defense very easily here. Quick ball played in, looking for Louis. Chattanooga looking for a chance here. As Adon Tate closes it out, it looks like that'll be a Chattanooga throw. Yeah, that's going to be one of the biggest matchups we're going to watch in this game is Tate against Louis. Both very athletic, both very gifted. It's going to be a good defensive battle for Tate. Aiden Bowers gets ready to take the throw for Chattanooga. A throw deep in Savannah territory. It's thrown in. Moyers gets a head on it. Somehow it's deflected away at the goal mouth here. Dangerous position. And it's forced all the way back to Captain Richard Dixon at midfield. Starting to see a lot of long throw-ins making, making its presence in soccer again. You know, a long throw-in from the side, getting into the box can, is easily every bit as good as a free kick. You've seen that taught uh, way much more, and I mean, you see it at pretty much the highest levels of international football and domestic football, trying to make that not just an easy throw, trying to go from distance, trying to create almost a chance where you could get a header if it's a decent throw. Absolutely. You know, you get, you get your offense up there with you. You clog that box up, make things dif difficult for the goalkeeper and the defense. You know, that ball can fall down anywhere. Crichton plays it over the midfield here. Clover's trying to retain possession here. Moyers trying to look for a quick lane, work it all the way out. Not all the way to Chandler Vaughn, picked up by Hargreaves. Excellent job alleviating pressure in that midfield. Chattanooga was stepping three people to Moyers and he was able to find a nice outlet. All the way back to Ford Hunt to reset. Arides tries a quick flick. Nobody home and 
Going to roll all the way back to Antoine and Net. We're 17 minutes in. Clovers nil, Chattanooga FC nil. Beautiful night here at Memorial Stadium on Hispanic Heritage Night. Thank you, everybody, for coming out here. Decent crowd. Fans in green still filing in. Another positive you've seen, Kyle, is uh, the relationship between Rigova and Arides has really formed as well since Rigova's stepped in here to the Clovers. They work together excellently. As Louis comes in here looking for an outlet, there's going to be a shot on goal. It's deflected. Solid defending by the Clovers. Arides able to clear, and it looks like there'll be a foul on Chattanooga. Once again, Chattanooga getting into the box, making themselves dangerous, but excellent defending by the Clovers. That's what they need to do in this game when you know you have a offensive juggernaut such as Chattanooga coming in. You just gotta stand your ground and play good, solid defense. You, Clovers showing that right now. Yeah, you really have a solid back four in Tate, Hunt, Schneider, and Vaughn. Now that everybody is healthy, of course, talked about Cam Schneider, a little bit of a hamstring issue, but he is in the starting 11. Be a foul to Chattanooga here. But that's been a big reason the Clovers have stayed in the last three matches is the solid defensive work of the back four. Yeah, every good team will have a solid defense to start. You know, that's where your possession's going to start. You pick up, you make your plays on defense, intercept the ball, and push from there. Clovers are showing their ability to do so. Louis trying to find an outlet here. Ford Hunt handles it. Chandler Vaughn is capable to the task, and it goes out for a Clovers throw deep in their own territory. Back to Hargreaves. Over to Vaughn. Vaughn tries to play it out towards midfield, and that'll go out for a Chattanooga throw. Clovers are disrupting right now. Capazucci plays it back out wide to Louis. Louis looking for a couple of white shirts here. Going for a chance. Header deflected. They're going to have another chance here. And Chattanooga was a mere few inches away from taking the lead in this match. That'll go out for a first corner of the match. Dangerous chance. Very. Once again, you have Louis getting down the wide side, Tate getting sucked in because he has to make a mark one way or another. So that opens up Louis getting back outside and able to get a cross in. That was dangerous. But again, Clover's cleaning it up and able to force it wide on that shot. Luis Garcia Sosa will take the corner for Chattanooga. Defense lined up really wide, the left side of the net. It's a very deep start for Chattanooga. You don't see that often. Looks like they're going to go all the way back to Richard Dixon. Garcia Sosa plays it in, headed in, into the waiting arms of Jack Crichton. Nothing comes of that. Clovers stand tall, withstand the first corner of the match. Pretty amazing getting to the first corner of the match in the 21st minute here. Rapolita looked like he might have been offsides on that. Assistant referee not picking up on that, but luckily harmless as Crichton was able to collect it. Might have been passively a little bit. It was quite close. Worked out wide. Chandler Vaughn, balls deflected out of play for a Savannah throw deep in Chattanooga territory. Boyer's going to work it all the way back. Moyers decides he wants to have a go with a little bit of a flick. It looks like Rogova comes together. 
Yeah, Max Rogova Max Rogova is getting a little frustrated here. He's getting called for some uh, ticky tack fouls. You know, just player looking to go for the ball. You know, he's you know Rogova's a strong, strong player. Chad News having a hard time with him. Hopefully he keeps his head and keeps working hard. He's going to get an opportunity here. Clovers have been dangerous down the left side of the pitch. That was Sebastian Capazucci that went to the ground. Or Chattanooga. Clovers was standing the pressure through the first 22 minutes here at Memorial. Martinez goes to ground. I thought he might have caught a little bit of a knock on the head there, but he seems to be okay. He's back at it, looking for Rogova just a little bit out of his reach, but he stays with it. Is he going to have a chance? Can he keep it in? And it's into the waiting arms of Antoine. See, there's one of those chances Rogova's waiting for. Doing great work, staying with that ball. Able to get a cross in. Unfortunately, nobody was able to keep up with him. Antoine's able to collect it for Chattanooga. I mean, this early, I mean, yeah, you want to show some good offensive pressure, but you don't want to leave yourself open against a league-leading team. So there's again, once again, Rogova getting in there, making something out of an errant pass. Chattanooga, a little sleepy back there. A little bit there, trying to figure out how to shut down that pesky number 45. And that'll lead to the Clovers' first corner of the game, taken by Alex Arides. Really big chance here for the Clovers. See if we can capitalize here. Plenty of white shirts in that box. Handful of maroon. Starting to hear some noise from the crowd here at Memorial. Noise from the First City supporters and the great crowd here at Memorial Stadium. Our booth is shaking, Kyle. <laughs> uh, the booth is shaking there, buddy. Taken away. It's in. Looks like the play's blown dead here what do we have here some extracurriculars before the kick was taken probably breaking it up probably gonna have to retake it here Mike Chattanooga just want to protect their goalkeeper as a goalkeeper myself I always appreciate that from my defense as a very short goalkeeper formerly <laughs> I, I agree with that my friend looks like Alex will take it again here all right Alex Arides to take from his right. And it's over the goal, headed away by the defense of Chattanooga all the way out to midfield. Clover's not able to create a chance off of that. Chandler Vaughn's going to whip it all the way back to goalkeeper Jack Crichton to reset. Excellent job by Vaughn there. That's a tough ball. And when you have Nagelstad coming on your back, being able to get a good, clean pass back to your goalkeeper is always appreciated. Yeah, the giant Norwegian, former draft pick of the New York Red Bulls. He was an All-American. Christian son, Norway native. Jesus Ibarra goes to ground. Twenty-fifth minute here. Clover's showing some very good game management. As we were talking about, keeping shape, getting up, attacking when they need to, but all getting back and doing their job on defense. That's just it. Losing the ball in transition as a free kick is taken, deflected away. Mason Moyers doing a great job to clear it back out to midfield, all the way to Captain Richard Dixon for Chattanooga. Whips it all the way in, going to go out for a Clover's throw. Yeah, you can see what the Clovers are doing. It's starting to frustrate Chattanooga a little bit. You know, Chattanooga is coming in here thinking they're going to be able to try and walk all over the Clovers, and Clovers just not having it right now. No, they really aren't. They're staying within themselves. They're playing their game, not letting the fact that you're playing against the league leaders dictate how they're going to play their game. Yep, and as you mentioned, that's what Coach Proctor wanted. Play your game, do your job, and Clover's doing a great job of that right Just now. Just do the job. You're an expansion side, easily the youngest side in NISA this season, but ultimately show up every day and do the job. Played out wide. Ball's flicked in all the way, rolls all the way to Jack Crichton. 
Good talk by Crichton, letting it come back to him. Yeah, a goalkeeper, he's really good with his hands. He's good with his feet as well. And clearly showing his communication, which is one of the number one things an excellent goalkeeper needs to have, communication with your defense and your team. A booming right foot doesn't, <laughs> doesn't hurt either. <laughs> he does have a cannon back there. <laughs> Would have loved to have had that when I played. That was about the only reason I did become a goalkeeper, because I could kick the ball far. <laughs> Somebody just kicked a ball at me once, and uh, I got tired of not scoring goals, and I caught it, and I said, ooh, that's fun. Let's do that again. <laughs> Funny how some of us become goalkeepers. <laughs> yeah, you want to play. you got to find a way to play. <laughs> that was always the best part about it. You were in the whole game as a goalkeeper when you were young. Everyone else is coming off, subbing out, having to sit. You're, goalkeeper, you're playing that whole game. Nice little work by a Don Tate right there to try to work up the left flank there, lead to a Clover's throw. Max Rogova takes over. He's going to have a go at it. I mean, it's right into the waiting hands of Antoine, but it forces a small dive. Probably the best chance the Clovers have had this entire match. Once again, Rogova being pesky there. Ball bouncing out of the defense, not quite controlled by Chattanooga, and Clover's taking advantage of it. Rogover really showing his danger. Take any advantage you can get against this side. Absolutely. Mason Moyers. Clover's trying to keep four or five back. A little bit of defensive midfield support to try to not get caught in transition. Yep, you see Hargreaves and Moyers sitting back and allowing Tate and Vaughn to get up the field with their superior speed. Yeah, that's just it. They can operate as wingbacks, but they do have the speed to get back and support defensively. Rogova in pursuit, but this looks like this is going to go out of play for a goal kick. That's the direction of the modern game, the way it's going. Wingbacks over these past few years, especially the last five years, have really become a prevalent part of international soccer altogether. Having good wingbacks and being able to get up and get back really makes a team very dynamic and very dangerous. It really does. You're adding another dimension. You're adding not only a defensive player, but someone who could come up and act as sort of like a fifth midfielder if you're running four in the middle. Absolutely. Far cry from back when we started playing where you would have your two center backs and your two outside defenders who would just kick the ball up. <laughs> your job, when in doubt, out. That is what yep. my coach always said. And looks like Going to be a foul for against the Clovers here. Aaron Martinez. Yeah, a bit of a sloppy challenge by Martinez there. Yeah, a little, little tardy to the party, as they say on that one here. No reason for a booking of any kind here. No big egregious well, fouls he, thus far. Yeah, I thought he was minutes. going to his pocket, but not sure if he handed it out or not. I wasn't sure what he was doing. Whenever he goes... Yeah, to his pants pocket. I can. I never really know. Are you going to bring a card out? <laughs> you got an itch. What's going on? Extra whistle. <laughs> well, you got to keep an extra whistle. Always. Oh, that did go into yeah, the books. Yeah, it did. Did not see that flash, but that is a yellow card to Aaron Martinez. Excellent work once again by that Clover's defense. Tate keeping Louis under wraps there. Yeah, and also you got a goalkeeper that's good with both feet. Always helpful, especially having an ambidextrous goalkeeper there. Yeah, especially we can have him <laughs> almost operate like a sweeper. Within the five minutes, his services have been called on quite a bit. Chattanooga still tries to press forward. Worked out to Louis. He's driving in here. But Crichton's all over it. Not even going to bother to pick it up here. All the way out to Chandler Vaughn over to Hargreaves. One thing you're seeing, Kyle, Clovers are making Chattanooga predictable. That is an excellent tactic by the defense. You, If you allow them to pick out your channels, you know what they're going to do with it. As long as you have the capacity to handle it, it's an excellent strategy against a tough opponent like Chattanooga. It really, it really does. By making them predictable, you're, I mean, you're not allowing them to create. That's the biggest thing. This is a strong squad. You know they're the class of Nisa. And being able to do that 31 minutes in is really impressive thus far. 
Both teams with a few challenges here. That'll be a foul to Chattanooga. Again, Clover's not afraid to pressure high there. Joseph Perez back with it, recipient of that foul. McGrath. Barra. It's really a sea of maroon in the Savannah end here. Ford Hunt with an excellent step right there. Yeah, he really did. Got ahead of that. Oh, big awkward bounce. But need to be careful. Yeah, again. That was very odd. Yeah, the, the artificial <laughs> turf, you have to be careful with the bounces here as Martinez is going to work it all the way out. A little overlap. Chandler Vaughn trying to work his way back in. He'll finally get a touch from Captain Zach Hargreaves here. Rogova was the intended target, but handled, it e easy, handled easily by the Chattanooga defense. Going to have to really be careful here. Capazucci is pressing in. Trying to switch directions here to try to create a chance for Chattanooga. See Chattanooga is trying to pick up the pace a little bit. A little bit quicker passing for them. Yeah, trying to catch Savannah a little bit off guard here. As Louis is off sides here. Excellent patience by the D Clovers defense, allowing, forcing the offsides. Not really the old fashioned offside trap, but it does the <laughs> job. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Crichton will take. Surveying the landscape here at Memorial. Still no score, 34th minute, Clovers nil, Chattanooga FC nil. Looks like a couple bodies came together there. Capazucci and Alex Arides. Arides tough as nails there, as always. Pesky fast. Another set piece by the Clovers. They're looking to take advantage of this. They're sending up Ford Hunt and Schneider. Yeah, you see five or six bodies up front, just a little bit outside the penalty area. The captain Hargreaves will take with his big right. Something could happen here with Antoine is off his line. He wants to try and collect this ball in the 18, but. He's gonna take, it's a short one, dropping all the way back to Chandler Vaughn. Vaughn driving in, trying to see if we can get a little bit of a deflection there. The sea of maroon shirts deep in Chattanooga territory comes to nothing here. Not a bad idea at all by the Clovers. Yeah, slow set piece there, try to catch him off guard with a handful of forwards and a couple of midfielders in there. The Clovers have to be careful here. You got three at the back. You the dangerous Louis on the right side, trying to press up there on the wing. Deflected nicely by Chandler Vaughn, who quickly gathers it up. Excellent work by Chandler Vaughn there on the outside. Really do. I mean, both, yeah, I mean, obviously I can say enough about what our center backs are doing right now, but our left and right backs are absolutely holding their ground tonight. Chandler Vaughn, and of course, the speedy Adon Tate. We have to be careful, trying to have to get it caught off sides here. It looks like he's gonna have a chance. It's flicked in, deflected away. Still in play for Chattanooga. His Clovers are getting numbers back here. Capazucci working it back over to Louis. A little bit of misdirection there with Garcia Sosa. Goes to ground. Great tackle by Tate. Great, yeah, went straight for the ball. Nothing to come from that. Starting to see Chattanooga's movement off the ball right now, which is what makes them dangerous as well. Hargreaves gathers it up. He's going to play it all the way back to Crichton, and we're going to settle some things down here and reset it here for the Clovers. Takes a rough first touch from Hargreaves. It might lead to a chance here. Okay, okay. 
Clovers with possession, they'll need to hang on to it. And it's a foul. Favor the Clovers here. Clovers standing their ground on defense here in the 37th minute here. Really clean first half, Mike. Yeah, it really has been. Just had that one card, which was still questionable, but Clovers again, solid defending, need to keep it up here as we have 10 minutes left in this half. And that's just it. Looks like we're gonna have some nice festivities here on Hispanic Heritage Night. During halftime of tonight's match, got about nine minutes remaining here. And tough tackle. <laughs> this is talking about a clean game, starting to see a little bit more yeah. foul action pick up. Yeah, yeah, really, really Cam, great. Yeah, Cam Schneider, <laughs> the recipient, or uh, the giving out that tackle there. I'm trying to think. Let me see if I can see here. Uh, that's Alex McGrath. McGrath having a really solid season in midfield. Number 33 has six goals on the air. He's the second leading goal scorer for Chattanooga FC behind Marcus Nagelstad. Might have a chance here. Nagels Nagelstad really hasn't had a lot of touches here in the game. He's so strong on the ball, but once again, excellent defense. Clambering for a foul, too. He's he goes frustrated. to ground. He is. He has been absolutely isolated and shut down the first half of this match. Chattanooga really trying to get it out to their wings. Clover's here in transition here. So plenty of time to make something happen here in the first. We enter the 39th minute of play here at Memorial Stadium. Flicked in and gathered up by Antoine. Keep pressing, keep creating. That's what you want to see. You're going to see a one-on-one -on -one battle once again with Louis and Tate. Yeah, Don Tate has stuck really well. Waits Juan for the Louis. help. Textbook. Still finds a way to keep the ball. But Don finally dispossesses him of that. And Alex Arides, big thing he wants to do is not turn the ball over here. Clovers aren't able to clear all the way out. Excellent step there. Cam Schneider got a piece of that. Yeah, it was a great step by Schneider, showing just why he was set back into the mid, uh, the middle of that defensive duo there. No doubt about it. Came over to the Clovers and he started off as an outside back, but just showing how well he is, you know, cleaning up things in the middle with Fort Hunt. Yeah, he's really found a good spot as a central d defender here. Dangerous foul just outside the penalty area. Seems to be the theme and of the night. Yeah, looks like we're <laughs> talking about Cam Schneider playing very well. Un unfortunately, throws a late tackle in there and gets a yellow card for it. In a really dangerous area and what could be a really advantageous chance for Chattanooga FC. You can't give a side like this many chances like this. With the success they've had, they've been an offensive powerhouse. See how the Clovers are going to line up here. Here in the 40th minute here. Five minutes. Shouldn't be a whole lot of stoppage time here in this first half. Free kick here. Dead at the top of the 18. Straight on. Crichton's going to want to have a large wall here. It's looking like we're going to have six folks in the wall. Nagelstad flicked in. It's deflected. And it's out of play. That was too close for comfort. Margus Nagelstad... The leading goal scorer for Chattanooga takes a rip at it, and it's deflected out of play. And all it comes to is a goal kick. Dangerous chance. Very dangerous, Kyle. But Clover's defense again, holding tough through it. That wall was set up excellently. Nagelstad wanted to go underneath and go low to try and beat Crichton down low, but uh, the deflection went out of bounds off his own player for this goal kick. Yeah, that was a wall of maroon he was facing there and almost found a way to get it through and into the back of the net. But for the Clover's sake... Comes to not here. It's played out of play. It'll be a Chattanooga throw. Joseph Perez will gather it up. Number three. You got five minutes. If you're David Proctor, what do you want to see? 
Just need to see this finish out. You know there are some tired legs out there. The Clovers are running, and that's what's helping them get back and also helping them get the pressure up front. But you need to see the half out. You need to make sure you don't make a mistake and possess. And if you can't possess, get the ball high, wide, and far out of danger. Yeah, the Clovers have really gotten over the bugaboo of struggling in the first 20 minutes here. As Max Rogova tries to regain possession here. got to do the work and they're still showing it right now and that's great to see yeah they're putting in the grit in the middle of the pitch Chattanooga's trying to show that they're not done here Clovers need to make sure the ball's flicked all the way long run on turf looks like that'll pull all the way out looking at a goal kick here Yeah, watching Tate and Louis down here on this near side has been quite a treat for anyone who's a fan of the game. Excellent offense, excellent defending by Great Tate. Great battle. And Tate doing very well, getting into the attack as well. Yeah, it really is. He operates in that left wing back role incredibly well, but he knows his place as a defender. Balls as high as we are up here. Yeah, that <laughs> nearly, Tate hit, having to clear nearly hit the top of the booth right there. <laughs> Comes out, Capazucci will take the throw for Chattanooga. Souvenir for a lucky fan. Mm, those are expensive. The match balls are very expensive. <laughs> the foul are. ball in baseball, yeah, you can keep that. We got more in the basket. It's $13 fine. compared to 130 for these balls. Well, not a game ball. <laughs> Man alive. That's, those are not cheap, and you can throw them back. Aaron Martinez trying to work his way through a sea of white here. Looking for Alex Arides. Drop all the way back to Adon Tate. Actually taken on by Zach Hargreaves. Working all the way back to Ford Hunt. Tate, back to Crichton. We're going to reset here as we enter the 44th minute of play. No score here at Memorial. Clovers nil, Chattanooga FC nil. Watching live here on YouTube and FIFA Plus. Once again with a high clearance. <laughs> He's, he's doing just what we were talking about. High, wide, and far. Let's see this half out. Almost smacked our community relations officer, Brian Sykes, right in the noggin. But he seems to be okay. <laughs> more worried about the equipment he's got down there in the middle of the pitch. Way more expensive than the balls that they play with. That's typically how that works. It'll be a Clover's throw. Garcia Sosa, a little bit of descent there. Thought we were going to see a card there. You've seen that a lot in professional soccer this year. Is a crackdown on some of the descent, descent, as well as the some of the silly gamesmanship of throwing the ball away, slowing up the game. That's that's definitely been under scrutiny a lot more I'm this fine season. Fine with that. The goal celebrations let it happen. Guess oh, what? Absolutely. You scored a goal on a gigantic pitch. Enjoy it. Yeah. That's, That's well the one deserved. thing where I am not old school about. Nope. You celebrate all you want. Brighton, big right foot, boots it away all the way to midfield. Perez out to gather it up, going to drop back. As time continues to tick away in the 45th minute here. Can't imagine we're going to have too much stoppage time here. Been a pretty clean half. Rogova trying to <laughs> take advantage. Gathered up by Chattanooga. Haven't seen the board yet. No, not quite yet. Should be right there. Board should be coming out any moment here. As we enter the into the stoppage time here. And there it is. One minute. One minute of stoppage time. It pretty much it. what not we expected much. here. Dangerous ball played all the way down by Juan Louis. Covered by Tate. We're going to have a chance here. Tate handles it. Well done. Excellent. Clovers hey, need to close, break. close this out here. Arides got visions of trying to end this deadlock here before the first half ends. Hargreaves. Over to Moyers, going to drop it all the way back. Clover's going to be pretty conservative here. Be happy to go into the dressing room against the Nisa leaders. Nil-nil in the dying seconds here of the first half. Beautiful night here at Memorial Stadium.
Everyone just waiting for this whistle. It's got to come any second now. And there it is. <laughs> there it is. Really solid half here. As we go into the half deadlocked here. Savannah Clovers nil, Chattanooga FC nil. We'll head to halftime here. We'll be back with the second half right after this here on YouTube and FIFA Plus. We'll be back right after this. Your Savannah Clovers tied nil-nil with Chattanooga FC. Really st strong first half. Beautiful night here. 75 degrees. The wind is blowing and a really good turnout tonight. I'm Kyle Lawson, joined once again by Mike Blanton, and we're ready to get it going again. Really solid first half. What do you want to see in the second, Mike? More of the same, Kyle. The Clovers came out, did an excellent job doing their jobs, as Coach Proctor was talking about and how we've been talking about job. through the broadcast. And they just need to keep doing it. They're going to be a little tired, but now they need to lean on each other and just play the game. Keep taking it to them and don't make mistakes. That's just it. Stay within yourself, create chances. Don't be afraid to be aggressive, but also remember what got you through that first half as we get underway here at Memorial Stadium. Defensively, the Clovers were very strong. Max Rogova able to create a couple of chances up front along up that left flank. Whistled for a foul here. And Chattanooga not liking that call that much, especially because there was no contact. But when you're throwing a boot that high, that was up at Moyer's head. That's going to get called every time. The intent for contact was there, and that deserves a foul. Cam Schneider quickly. Going to work it all the way back. Jack Crichton's been a busy man back in action after picking up a little bit of a knee injury. Good to see him back. Wasn't able to make the West Coast road trip for the Clovers. As long as it's much the same as the first half where Crichton doesn't have to be sprawling out, diving all over creation, trying to make save after save, that's going to that's gonna bode well for the Clovers here in this second half. Well, that's right. I mean, we've seen great play from our left and right backs. Seen great work from likes of Adon Tate. Of course, Chandler Vaughn. Seeing Chattanooga already coming out a little pep in their step. They're trying to get some numbers forward early here. I think they want to try and strike as early as possible. Yeah, the first 10 minutes of this second half here, they're really going to want to press high, and it's imperative the Clovers find a way to shut that down. It's Fort Hunt is equal to the task. Clears it away from danger all the way back at the mid. Nagelstad all the way back out to Ibarra. Trying a little through ball that was quickly gathered up by Chandler Vaughn. Andy Sanchez getting a touch. Ball ultimately directs it out of play. For Chattanooga throw, Joseph Perez. Over to McGrath, trying to work in a deep ball, dangerous deep ball. And it looks like we're going to have a foul, and that looks to appear to be a penalty there against the Clovers. Marcus Nagelstad goes to ground here in the 48th minute. That's a tough call there, Kyle. I think that was a great ball in. Nagelstad getting in great position, but I thought the defense was equally up to that task. Yeah, but ultimately he took him to ground, and you simply can't do that. That's a clear-cut penalty. No malice there whatsoever, but... Yeah, un unfortunate play. Nagelstad looking for his 12th goal of the season. We'll see if Jack Crichton is up to the task. First big challenge the Clovers have faced. Nagelstad from the penalty spot. Slow tap in, deflects, and it's deflected what a away. Save. What a save by Crichton. Can the Clovers get it out? That big left hand of Jack Crichton has kept the Clovers tied here. Brilliant save on a really difficult penalty chance from a big goal scorer like Marcus Nagelstad. 
real di David and Goliath situation there. And Crichton comes up to the task and makes a beautiful save down low to his left. Arguably one of the toughest places to try and make a PK stop, especially from such an like, excellent striker as Nagelstad. Crichton really showing his skill there. Yeah, I mean, Nagelstad, one of the class strikers in Nisa. But Jack Crichton equal to the task with easily his most important save of the season for the Clovers. Max Rogova trying to get on top of that one. He goes to ground, looks to be in a little bit of pain as Antoine deflects away. Yeah, Rogova might have taken an inadvertent hand to the face there. What in a foul, looks to be grabbing his left shoulder a little bit in pain. Yeah, Keeping he might have come down on that wrong after that clash on as getting into the box. Now keep in mind the Clovers do have some options as Team Physio goes out to check on. Big number 45 for the Clovers there. The Clovers playing with a very deep bench, no real injuries. You still have options up front. You have the likes of young Alex Wood and Joel Bunting. It's coach David Brock Proctor goes out to give instructions to his skipper, Zach Hargreaves. Andy Sanchez getting a quick drink here. Max is to his feet, favoring that shoulder a little bit. We'll see how long he's going to continue here. One of the toughest guys on the Clovers. Hopefully he can stay in this game. He's, he's making an impact. He had a really solid first half, and you certainly don't want him to come out of play with a good 40 minutes left in this match. Especially you feel like a big momentum boost right there with that impressive penalty save off one of the leads, leading scorers. That was Marcus exciting, Nagelstad. Kyle. <laughs> I'm still in shock right now. Nagelstad currently the second leading goal scorer in Nisa. And Jack Crichton, formerly of Colwyn Bay FC in Wales, was equal to the task. We're back in action here in the 52nd minute. Rogova still reading some, receiving some treatment here on the sidelines here. And it looks like he may be able to continue here. As Clover's playing with 10 men currently. It's had a play for a Clover's throw. Memorial's still buzzing here. After the big penalty save, Rogova back to his feet and back on the pitch. And yeah, you're not, you're not going to keep Rogova out of this game. No, he's an absolute warrior. One of the toughest players I've seen. Andy Sanchez works it all the way back to Hargreaves over to Moyers. Clover's trying to see what kind of plan of attack we want. We start to get, see the men in maroon work their ways up here. Nagelstad playing all the way back. But with no support here. Advantage played here. Aaron Martinez flicks it ahead. Is Rogova going to have a chance? And it's just over the net. Excellent sequence by the Clovers there. Rides coming back, doing more midfield dirty work. And then you have number eight, Aaron Martinez, slotting the ball in for Rogova, who's back quick on his feet with a left-footed strike just over the crossbar. Great sequence by the Clovers. Yeah, he really created that play all by himself. Martinez, great job getting it over to Rogova. Rogova still feeling the effects, possibly that collision. We're going to see what the decision is here. Yeah, after he took that left-footed shot, he went back down to ground. Oh, he's really, looked like he rolled back over on that shoulder. He's still going to attempt to stay in. But it looks like we may be seeing the first substitution of the match for either squad. Now, the Clovers have a deep bench tonight. Everybody's pretty much healthy. Cal Green, you have the options of Ben McKay, Alex Cruz, Alex Woods, and Joel Bunting. That are all available for David Proctor. 
Clovers would like to see give a little bit more run, maybe to the 60 before you have to start getting some fresh legs in there. Ibarra trying to work in. But Cam Schneider is equal to the task. Perez. Moyers comes back up with it here. Zach Hargreaves goes to ground. A little bit of contact, but not a foul. Rogova working his way back. Chandler Vaughn tries to work a little bit of an overlap. Little one-two. Back with Sanchez here. Can't quite keep it in. It's going to go out for a Chattanooga throw. Rogova still seems to be in some pain here, even after taking a bump or two, getting back. And it looks Every like bump, he's feeling it right now. He certainly is, and yeah, it looks like you may see Joel Bunting, the big number nine for the Clovers, come in after the next stoppage of play here. Chandler Vaughn sees that out of play for a goal kick, and yeah, we will go ahead and have that change. And it looks like the aforementioned Max Rogova Picking up a little bit of a knock on that shoulder there. He's really favoring that left shoulder. Yeah, tough to speculate on injuries from up here, but I am very familiar with shoulder dislocations, and he's exhibiting all signs of that right now. I dislocated both of mine. I didn't like either one. Not a fun injury at all. <laughs> so Max Rogova puts in a really solid shift, and here comes Joel Bunting. Big number nine will step in at that number nine position. Right up top. See if he can recreate some magic. As we remember Joel scored the goal that led to the first Clovers victory in professional history earlier this season down in Florida. It's Club De Leon. And what a goal that was, Kyle. Bunting, excellent skilled forward. Really great to have him as an option when Rogova needs to come off. Glad to see his fitness is back here. I know he picked up a really difficult injury earlier in the season, I believe up in Rochester, taking on Flower City. Glad to see he's healthy for the final push here. Yeah, that injury is what prompted the Clovers looking into bringing in Max Rogova. Yeah, trying to find an out-and-out -out striker. Well, you'll see how to bunting again is an excellent, excellent work rate. He's another tough guy up there in the front. And he's just going to run. He's going to make things challenging for Chattanooga. Yeah, if he's at full fitness, he can definitely go out there and give you a shift here. Got some fresh legs here for the last 35 minutes of the match here. Sanchez, a little bit of pace, trying to work back. Trying to get some support here with Moyers, working all the way out. And that's just a little bit out of the reach of Chandler Vaughn for a throw deep in Chattanooga territory. Clovers regained possession here. Intended target was Arides. Played all the way back to midfield. Don't want to lose this in transition here. Don Tate following his counterpart in Juan Luis. Reinvigorating that battle from the first half. Quickly taken here by Chattanooga. Shut down by the referee. Some angry fans at that call, Kyle. I don't know if there was much in that, but. No, I didn't see a whole lot either. I really did. Yeah, Juan Luis going down. Tough challenge. Could go either way. You could see why it was called, but <laughs> typical Clovers fans not happy with that call. It's a good turnout here. Beautiful night here, early fall here in Savannah, Georgia. Where the temperature still is in the 70s, but a nice 70s. Quickly taken by Chattanooga here. Aaron Martinez deflects it out of trouble and up into the away stands. Throw taken deep, really deep throw. Clovers need to be careful, need to clear this out of the box here. Shot taken, deflected. 
May have another chance here. Still bouncing around. And it's in wow. the back of the net. A lot of confusion. But ultimately, Chattanooga draws first blood here in the 60th minute. I really thought the Clovers had a chance to clear that away. But on a rebound, Chattanooga has taken the lead 1-0 over the Clovers here in the 60th minute at Memorial. Difficult sequence there. I thought the Clovers were going to be able to clean it up. The only way I can describe that sequence, Kyle, was mayhem. It was tough to see what exactly was happening with the ball there. Clovers able to get a couple deflections on some shots. Ultimately settled at... Was that uh, Nagelstad? Yeah, it looks like Marcus Nagelstad. As he was going down from contact, wasn't errant contact, wouldn't have led to a PK, but he throws a right foot out there and somehow buries it in the upper nine. Crichton had no idea what happened he on that. He was completely shielded. Right? Yeah, that's nothing completely. on Crichton, nothing on the defense. Just one of those very odd plays that results up in the ball in the back of the net. Well, the Clovers really need to respond quickly here. You get a half hour of football to play here. We're back underway. It's credited to Nagelstad. That will be his 12th goal of the season, tying him for the league lead. Nagelstad, the ever-present fox in the box forward for Chattanooga. Adds another one to his ledger, and the Clovers are going to play from behind here. It's going to be all about the Clovers' response now. How can they come out after going down a goal? And let's see what they respond with. The next five minutes are going to be really important here. They've played a really solid football here. Alex Arita is trying to make a little something happen. With nothing but a sea of white shirts. Moyer's able to gather it up over to Hargreaves. Yep, they just need to stick to their guns, play their game, and good things can happen out of this. Absolutely. Keep trying to make those little things happen try to make those chances happen ultimately don't forget we got you this far in this match you're playing a really tough side you can find a way to take points away referee playing advantage after tate went down on the far side Vaughn bon tried to find an outlet here not a whole lot of room to work with four clovers players in the box ang ang anxiously awaiting a cross unfortunately never comes don't want to awake the sleeping giant here in Marcus Nagelstad. He's scored his 12th goal of the season here. The Clovers are going to need to turn it up a notch though. They're gonna to have to get some pressure going forward, put these center backs under pressure and force a mistake, and they're going to have to do it as a coordinated side. Yeah, they really are. And, I mean, you want to continue to see them play a really strong defensive game. As That was an easy foul call. Chandler Vaughn goes to ground. You want them to stay within themselves and be able to be strong defensively, which they've done the last three matches, but also know when you can find those outlets and those chances where you say, I need to go and attack now. Absolutely. You don't want to give in in any way, shape, or form. Abara trying to navigate through. Over to McGrath. Deflection here that goes out of play. Almost led to a really difficult chance for Crichton and the Clovers. But it goes out for a goal kick. Jack Crichton a little bit frustrated here. A few minutes removed from that first goal. Looks like we're gonna have the first change of the match here for Chattanooga FC. Another number nine. Number nine coming on there. Looks like Lionel Alvarenga will be coming on. Luis Garcia Sosa leaves the game. Lionel Alvarenga 
known as Beto, enters the match. Ball played all the way back to Crichton here. 64th minute here. You're just joining us here on YouTube and FIFA Plus. Here Memorial Stadium here. Savannah Clovers nil. Chattanooga FC one here in Nisa action. Many fans unable to see how the Rides could foul the big number 97 for Lita over there. A native of Moldova in Eastern Europe. Negelstad looks back over to Alvarenga. Abara dropping all the way back to Perez. Barra working down that left wing, trying to chip it in for Alvarenga, getting his first touches of the game. It's deflected. Crichton's able to come up with it. Dangerous chance. Another deflection. Excellent goalkeeping by Crichton, staying quick on his toes, able to get down with a kick save, falls back into his hands as he's able to hold possession. Yeah, Jack Crichton's given his all. Almost acted as a sweeper, really. And he's made two key saves, that being the most recent, along with that brilliant penalty save towards the dying minutes of the first half. Excuse me, at the start of the second half here. There you go, Kyle. All right, yeah, that, I'll give me a mulligan on that one. Oh, right, you got one every round. Not much of a golfer. Played all the way back to Crichton here. Quick throw in here. Starting to see a little bit more ball chasing by the Clovers. They want to try and get this possession back, but they got to stay coordinated with this effort. Keep the shape. That's the most important thing. Great step by Ford Hunt there to gain possession back Definitely for the Clovers. Definitely play on here. Chandler Vaughn. Trying to work it up to Andy Sanchez. It looks like it's deflected. It's going to go all the way out of play for a goal kick. I thought Chandler Vaughn might have deflected it off the Chattanooga defender for a corner, but... Yeah, tough angle on that one. Looks like the Clovers did get that out for a corner, but officiating staff not seeing it that way. Not too much pushback from anyone, so <laughs> they have a better view than we do up here. Uh, most certainly they do. Now you're starting to see this coordination by the Clovers. They're starting to put some pressure on Chattanooga, which is what we want to see. Going to have a dangerous free kick. It's kind of their bread and butter position when they can get everyone into the box. I do think another yellow card was issued here. Yeah, another late high challenge. I believe it's warranted. That'll lead to a... Free kick from a slight angle here. Zach Hargreaves and Adon Tate coordinate. Tate to take off his left foot here. Whips it in, decent ball. Handled pretty impressively by Chattanooga. Really solid ball in by Tate. Yeah, that was a great ball by Adon Tate there. Swinging it in right at the goalkeeper with some swerve on it. Always difficult for any defense or goalkeeper to pick that up when you have a full box full of opposition there. It's back again for a Clover's throw here. Moyers a tape, take this. Into the waiting arms of Jean Antoine. It's almost nonchalant about that grab out of the air and that cross. No, he knew he had it all the way. There wasn't a lot of pressure coming from the maroon shirts of the Clovers here. But again, showing the danger of being able to get a long 
throw-in into the box. That's just it. Yeah, uh, Mason Moyers is really, really talented when it comes to long throws, especially from that left side of the pitch. Ball played all the way back to Crichton. Does just enough to get it all the way out of play. It was a tough one for Crichton. That thing was bouncing a little bit, and keeper has to be sure of that touch. Well, I mean, with the artificial turf here at Memorial, you have a really fast-moving pitch. It yeah, can bounce very. around like a rubber ball at times. Perks of tire dirt. Goodyear, Firestone, <laughs> you name it. I always thought it was kind of fun to play on this, personally. Yeah, when I was growing up, my home field was full of construction dirt and rocks so the second the chance i was able to get playing on turf was much very welcome <laughs> yeah i was about to say i pretty much tended goal in a bog for the most part so yeah one of the corners of our field was actually played on a parking lot players were taking a goal or corner kicks from a parking lot well if you wanted to be a keeper on that team you probably really had to want it Man alive. <laughs> so it looks like we got foul here. Looks like we're going to have a couple of substitutions here for the Clovers. Alex Cruz and Benjamin McKay look to come on here. Clovers trying to get some fresh legs out here and try to finish the last 20 minutes of this match strong. Clovers showed a lot of poise, a lot of grit. As we get later in the second half, game's starting to lack a little bit of flow from both sides as they're both teams showing some tired legs here because it has been gritty and grueling. Well, both sides have really put in a ship these first 70 minutes here. So it looks like Aaron Martinez and Andy Sanchez will be replaced. Benjamin McKay and, and Alejandro Alex Cruz will come into the game, number 30. McKay and Cruz, both very, very tough players. They're going to run. A lot of pace. Spark plugs off the bench here. McKay's going to want to go forward, so this is hopefully going to spark the Clovers going forward to try and make something happen here. Well, if you're going to see the Clovers press here, as Perez takes a throw, deflected out of play, Clovers throw. So let me ask you this, Mike. Ball's out, of, out into midfield here. Look. Alex Arides goes to ground here. Say, what you got for me, Kyle? Really quickly here, looks like Sebastian Capazucci will go into the books for a pretty strong challenge on Alex Arides. He goes to the ground in a heap. I ask you this, while he receives a little bit of treatment, we'll see if he's going to be okay. You're down 1-0. You're playing the best team in your league. Best team in your league. They've already, you know, pretty much stamped their ticket to the playoffs here in Nisa. The Clovers are going to make one last attack. When do you want to see it? Do you want to see it now? Do you want to see it in the next uh, 10 minutes here? When do you expect them to try to make a push? And what would you do? What we haven't seen much is just what we're seeing right now, a little bit of long ball. You're not putting Antoine or the center backs under a lot of pressure, and you have Bunting who can just run up there. I want to see the Clovers... I want to... Right around the 80th minute, you're, you're going to want an all-out push here. One last push. One last yep. push to see if you can jockey for a little position now. Start prodding with a long ball here or there. See what channels you can find, where you can expose them. That looked to be a bit of a handball there. Yeah, I saw a little bit of contact right there, but the referee says play on here. Abara trying to work his way through to Nagelstad. Sitting on that goal right now, he'd love a second. Clovers need to lock it down here. It's Perez. And Alex Arides, after picking up a little bit of a knock, is back at it. 
We see the strength of Bunting holding play up. Well done. I was about to say, strong legs for Bunting. You know he can really get after it, along with that scoring touch. Clover showing no signs of quit whatsoever. Rotating in some fresh legs. As we get into the 75th minute of play. Clover's nil, Chattanooga FC one. Streaming live tonight on YouTube and FIFA Plus. Thank you for joining us. It's been a match so far. Yeah, the Clovers have pretty much thrown the kitchen sink at them and outside and I mean, it was a foul nonetheless, but nothing egregious that led to a penalty. Ultimately, Jack Crichton comes up with a big save, but the dangerous Marcus Nagelstead able off of a deflection to find the back of the net to break the stalemate. And the Clovers are still searching here. It looks like we're gonna have a corner kick for Chattanooga here. Chattanooga really likes to set their attackers up wide. Yeah, very unorthodox corner. Very short corner taken here. Nagelstead trying to take it all by himself. Deflected out of play. A clover goes to ground. Looks like it's a goal kick. I believe that's Moyers down. Mason Moyers. I don't know if he's going down. Looks like he might have taken an inadvertent hit. That, inadvertent uh, hit. Uh, might be a little bit of a cramp. I mean, 75 degrees, but hey, you can still get a cramp, let me tell you. Absolutely. With the shift he's put in and all the running around he's been doing, he deserves a bit of a break right now. The number six <laughs> plays a number six, and he, he does sure the does. dirty work. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder that knows his role. He can create, but ultimately he can serve as that fifth defender. He's been absolutely brilliant tonight. Glad to see him back on his feet here. It's a goal kick. So we get to the time, pretty close to the time where you think they had to try to turn it loose. Long ball played into the midfield. And Alex Cruz goes to ground and earns a free kick for the Clovers. Once again, another Clovers free kick here is gonna be in a good dangerous spot. Get everyone up into the box. Let's start getting this attack going. See the veteran Marcus Nagelstad trying to slow down the momentum of the Clovers here. They wanted to take that free really quickly here. Don Tate looks to take. Very high defensive line. It's almost inviting some play behind. Yeah, it really is. I mean, you can see, hopefully, be able to create a second chance here as it's played in. Decent-sized ball, and it's flected all the way out by McGrath. And the Clovers have themselves a corner here. Hargreaves, very smart ball, as we were saying, high line. A lot of space over there to the right yeah. side of the goal. It's almost as if you're trying to fish for that corner kick opportunity. So it looks like Arenas is going to go ahead and take this. Yep. So the Clovers are readying a sub. The young Cypriot looks to take. No, looks like it's going to rotate back in. Oh, we got a sub stopping play. The speedy young Cal Green looks to make his appearance. And it looks like he's going to head on in there. Irides coming off. Good shift by Alex Irides, the speedy Cypriot creating chances. Another Looks excellent game by Arides. As Memorial continues to shake, big. Take it in, there's a scramble in the goal. We're we gonna have a chance here. It's deflected away. Clover's had a little bit of a chance with a goal mouth scramble. Quick hand by Antoine, but deflected away. And yeah, Antoine way. a little unsure of what he was doing on that. He, he was, was almost there trying to get a punch on it, but. Yeah, he was able to get a, just a little bit of a finger save on there. Goal mouth scramble, you saw. Saw the likes of Ford Hunt scrambling for that ball, along with Cal Green, who just got his first touches of the match. Cal Green, still a teenager. Can operate as a defender. And he can play in an attacking role as well. 
He's played everything from outside back to center back to straight up striker. Yeah, and a really very versatile, very athletic. Yeah, I a mean, lot of speed for his size. You need your players to be versatile in a difficult expansion season with you know, various injuries, suspensions, and uh, Coach Proctor's had to really rely on his young players. It's taken in. Antoine very confidently springing to action there. You can see the long throw that Green himself has as well. Looks like he may have landed a little bit hard there. Several cries for the Chattanooga physio as she runs out onto the pitch. And Jean Antoine is writhing in pain right now. Got tripped up. Tough to see what exactly happened there. I don't there. know if he caught a stud. I'm not quite sure what really happened here. Hey, I don't think there was much of a challenge on him. No, no. He might have just clipped his own feet onto the turf, but uh, bummer to see him go down. No, I hate, yeah, I hate to see any keeper go, or really any player go down like that. He may have just caught a little bit of the turf, or maybe he just took a hard landing. Yeah, it was a bit of an awkward fall at the end of that. So here we go. Ten minutes left to go as we enter the 81st minute within the last ten minutes of the match here. This current injury delay will certainly lead to another minute of stoppage time or show. So, I said show. That makes no sense. Pure gibberish. But as Antoine gets treatment from the Chattanooga physio here, Clovers will get watered up here for the final push. Yep, that's why you're seeing Cal Green step on as that latest Clover sub. He's gonna he's gonna be a spark plug out there. He's just gonna run around and try and make something happen. There, he's a big target man. He's gonna be able to run onto the ball, receive the ball. Clover's really wanted to make something happen. He's been a very widely used sub and starter this whole entire season. Yeah, a lot of speed. You can pretty much play him anywhere on the pitch. Uh, as far as his finishing, he he is good in the air. That's what you want to see. Still developing, being able to have that kind of deadly strike to actually put the ball in the back of the net. This is experience you want as a youngster. As you said, to be the best, you got to beat the best. I did say that. Actually, I said it a couple of times. You did. It's a very, very good line. You were there. Made my day. Looks like Antoine's okay. Yeah, he's back on his feet here. A little under 10 minutes to go here. McGrath up that left flank looking for Ibarra. Alvarenga back over to McGrath. Chattanooga seeks that second goal. Clovers would like nothing more to take advantage, find a way to take a point home in a big Nisa matchup. Four matches remaining after tonight. Joel Bunting, a little bit of a hand to the back there. Won't go in the books, but he'll certainly get a warning. Yeah, tough play by Joel Bunting. Yeah, you You're going to start seeing Chattanooga want to try and make a little thing out of every touch as they want to. They want this clock to expire as quickly as possible. You want any kind of advantage that will allow them to make sh to assure them three points, and the Clovers do their best and make sure that doesn't happen. Quickly taken. Perez. Bowers works it back up here. Moyers stays with it here. Oh, unfortunate touch by McKay over yeah, here. Pretty difficult one for Ben. Really getting his first touches of the match here. 84th minute. Alvarenga, fairly long throw, looking for his target Ibarra. Cam Schneider equal to the task, deflects away. Hargreaves settled by Moyers. Crichton called back into action here. Ball deflected over there. Pass back by 
Cam Schneider. Alvarenga. Perez trying to work in, trying to find a lane for a shot. Schneider able to parry it away. Perez is running around there looking like he's not tired at all. I was about to say, yeah, that, that was a burst. Was the speedy fullback trying to get one in the back of the net himself. We'll have a throw in here, Tate out of bounds on the header, right in front of our wonderful First City supporters. They bang the drum every home game. We love to see the turnout, and it's only gonna continue to grow with this club. They've been out here even through some of the worst weather we've had, and yeah. we love them for it. That's summertime in Savannah, Georgia, as McGrath looks to take a rip into the waiting arms of Jack Crichton. Not really a dangerous shot, but a direct one. Clovers. With five minutes to find an answer and rescue a point. It's not a name you've called much today is Captain Richard Dixon for Chattanooga, but he has been tough sitting there at the number 10 position. Yeah, he's, not moving much, he but stayed back. always there. Ever present as a, as a center back. You can tell why he's a captain. Yeah, he's done the job. Throw from midfield. Over to Moyers. Trying to change direction, see if the Clovers can find a lane to create. Cam Schneider deflected into a. Have, wall of have to be careful right there. there with Schneider stepping up. You certainly have to be careful. You see what he wants to do, to, though. Yeah, you, see, you absolutely see what he wants to do. The Clovers are still on the lookout to create, and they need to be really careful here. Schneider staying back. Ooh. Clovers able to recover here. They don't want to be done yet here. 87th minute here. They still have... At least three minutes plus stoppage time to try to create a chance to rescue a point here. Just like to highlight that bit of footwork Tate had on the far side of the field. Well done to get out of pressure and get that ball moving. It's ultimately why they're continuing possession right here. Hargreaves surrounded. He's going to drop all the way back. And yeah, you're, you're spot on with that, Mike. Absolutely. Great footwork the entire match. Speak of the devil, he's at it again. Works back over to Green. Nice little drop back pass to McKay. Dummies that over to Hargreaves, trying to work it out wide to Vaughn. You can see Hargreaves thinking of trying to find a lane there. Played in by Vaughn. Headed away by Chattanooga. Ben McKay, almost able to dispossess Alvarenga. He's keeping his fight up. Definitely making things difficult. For Clover's going with a high press here the last couple of minutes. Hargreaves recovers. He's the recipient of that foul. Lead to a deep free. Clover sending everyone back up into the box now. Everything but the kitchen sink is going up. Adon Tate going back. Hargreaves trying to play it in. Easily handled. Back out. Clover's going to reset and try again. Chandler Vaughn, speedy number 23. Love to try to work the ball out wide. Mason Moyers back to cover. McKay, he looks like he wants to have a shot from distance. It's deflected. Up in the air, 50-50 ball. Bodies come together. 
Yeah, a bit of a tough call there. Yeah, McKay's going right up for there. the ball. He happens to be a little stronger than Chattanooga. Yeah, I was about to say, throws his body into that. No malice in that, but it'll lead to a foul for against the Clovers for Chattanooga here. As the clock continues to tick. 89th minute here at Memorial. Entering the 90 minute, 90th minute of play. Should have a good idea of the stoppage time very shortly here. Fourth official, William Francham, veteran referee in the Savannah area. Match officials have had a good game. You always like to see it's been a fair cool play, clean calls. Let the game go. That's just it. Yeah, let it yeah, let it happen on the pitch and yeah, it's been a been a very fairly officiated match, no doubt about it. Perez going to take the throw here. Looks like we're going to have 6 minutes of stoppage time. A lot of game left, Kyle. A lot of game left. We enter stoppage time. Six minutes to play. The Clovers are not done yet. It looks like another substitution. A little less firepower for Chattanooga. Getting ready to come on here. Hey, you got to think they're going to be bringing in another defensive sub here because they're going to want to try and shut down anything Clovers try to throw forward. No doubt about it. Looks like it's going to be. Looks like it's going to be Lenworth Lopez Jr., number 13, who will replace tonight's goal scorer, Marcus Nagelstead, for Chattanooga. This appears to be the last substitution for either team. We're well into stoppage time here. And making a, making a sub into stoppage time just drags stoppage time out a little bit more. The officiating staff will always keep charge of that. Yeah, they're always at the forefront, making sure the time is kept and keeping an eye on time wasting here. Ball goes out of play. Ball's played back in. Chattanooga player goes to ground, <laughs> clamoring futilely for a <laughs> foul call there. <laughs> that was Lopez Jr. trying to make a stamp in this game already. And yeah, not I was about to say. the way yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Lopez did. No, that, that is just not going to get called, sir. Chandler Vaughn here, trying to make a little bit of noise. Quick little one-two with Cal Green. McKay just a little bit late trying to get to that. Yeah, you saw what they were trying to work for, and it's not a bad idea. Just couldn't execute. A yeah, little one-two, give and go. Try to find a lane and try to at least get something on net here. You can see Lopez's size. He's a he's a tall, strong forward. Yeah, he's he's an imposing number thirteen out there. No doubt about that. Bar, it's deflected. Clovers will have a throw. Clovers need to press, press high and press now. Moyers, really going in hard with the tackle there. Cal Green really making a big run in there. Trying to see if he can poach and take advantage of a little bit of mistake, but Antoine was equal to the task. Prepolit is trying to get in his way too, and Cal is just turning him around. So you got about three minutes left here in stoppage time, give or take. 
Really the last chance for the Clovers. Pretty heavy ball. Pass played to Chandler Vaughn out of play for a Chattanooga throw. Chattanooga in no hurry to take this throw. Not in the slightest. Both sides tired legs. Really competitive game of football tonight. Foul given Chattanooga's way. Fair distance out, but they're not done with it yet. Schneider and Fort Hunt, neither happy with that call. Lopez is leaning back into Schneider. Schneider's trying to hold his ground. I saw a little bit of pressure there, too. Yeah. yeah I didn't. <laughs> McGrath. Alex McGrath, six goals on the season. Mentioned that earlier in the match. He'll take this from distance. And like you said, they are in no rush to take this. They're ready to head on back. Up I-16, hop on 75, back to Chattanooga. Lopez. Closely covered by Hargreaves and Vaughn. Schneider boots it all the way back to midfield here. Clovers would love a chance to win this ball. Cal Green, excellent win. Woods goes, excuse me. Looks like Cruz. Yeah, excuse me, Alex <laughs> Cruz. We got two Alexes that came in off the bench. And uh, <laughs> so Alex Cruz goes down in a heap along with a Chattanooga player. That's only going to extend the stoppage time. Clover's looking to press. Hopefully one last attack that will steal a point for our Clovers. Can't quite tell who it is that went down for Chattanooga. Yeah, from our vantage point, a little difficult to see. Everybody tries to water up here. The injured Chattanooga player grabbing his head. Yeah, I just took an inadvertent bump. We all have, and it's not fun. So it looks like he'll be helped up by the referee and the physio, and that's Captain Richard Dixon getting back to his feet. Mentioned before how solid he's been. Really filling in at center back, almost really holding down and being that last line of defense for Chattanooga here. Jack Crichton is pushed all the way up. Clover's looking to play a long ball here for the remaining. This is it, this is everyone in the box time. Crichton's gonna put one in and Chattanooga with a very high line. It's 11 to 10, Crichton plays it in deep. Antoine out off the line. Over his box. It looks like he's over his box. He is over the box. Came out a little bit too far. And this leads, leads to a great advantage for the Clovers. Jean Antoine off his line. Like to Look see some commanding goalkeeping, but that's a mistake by Antoine. He's been completely solid the entire match. Not really been challenged much, challenged much by the Clovers. Our sideline official was right on top of that. Clearly saw the, it, clearly you saw can, Antoine you can step see it. out His of the box. His boot was over the line, right outside the penalty area here. He tried to pull the ball back into the box, and as you know, tough to see in the air. But sometimes you can see by the action what exactly happened. Yeah, so the Clovers are literally. Inches outside the penalty area. And if there was ever a chance for a set piece to work for the Clovers, it's right now. Dying seconds of the match here at Memorial Stadium. We have a chat with the fourth official. Zach Hargreaves and Adon Tate talking tactics here. One final sub for Chattanooga. Oh, no, wait, that's Dixon, Dixon stepping back, back on. <laughs> Dixon stepping back into the match here. So we're back 11 aside here. Every, all the men in maroon are up. So the Clovers go for their final stand here. Hargreaves to take, parried away. Brilliant save by Antoine. It was 
headed to the back of the net, if not for a terrific save by Jean-Antoine of Chetnug FC. Clover's trying to keep it in. Brilliant save by Antoine. That's an you're, excellent save by Antoine. And you're not gonna get much better of a delivery here. And that's the game. It looks like that's going to be it right there. I couldn't quite hear the whistle. Very interesting finish. Very interesting finish. The Clovers almost found a way to rescue a point. But as it is right now, the final score, Savannah Clovers nil, Chattanooga FC won in an incredibly entertaining match. Wow. Clovers almost found a way to come back against the top club in the league. Great performance. What did you see? And I got to tell you, I am really proud of our side tonight. I'm with you, Kyle. The lads need to hold their head high. They they punched with the big boys tonight and played very well. Matched them blow for blow. It was an odd goal in the first place for the Clovers. Crichton stood on his head with some killer saves there. Brilliant penalty save. Beautiful, beautiful penalty save. Clovers are looking good. They need to hold their heads up high for playing an excellent match against the top side in Nisa. Good things are coming here for our Savannah Clovers. It's a tough one to take tonight, but ultimately the Clovers stood their ground. But unfortunately, they fall to Chattanooga FC 1-0. I'm Kyle Lawson along with Mike Blanton. We want to thank you so much for joining us here for Savannah Clovers Soccer right here on FIFA Plus and YouTube.com. We'll see you next time. Good night from Savannah.